This is Hannibal from the HannibalTV.com with a weekend wrestling news update for you. Kane Velasquez is now getting a WWE title match against Brock Lesnar at the Crown Jewel event in Saudi Arabia. Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports that the Saudi Arabia money may have had something to do with Kane signing with WWE. It's been reported some talents appearing on these Saudi Arabia events are getting three to four million an appearance. But Kane has signed a long-term deal with WWE despite reportedly having bad knees. At one point, it was believed he was thought to have needed surgery on them, according to reports. But according to Dave Meltzer, he's going to try and get stem cell surgery done on them in Colombia. Ray Mysterio has had this done. Dan Severin has had this done. I interviewed Dan Severin on Friday. You can check that interview out right here on the Hannibal TV. He also talks about Cain Velasquez getting into wrestling. In that interview, Tyson Fury is also going to be part of this Saudi Arabia event. Supposedly, he contacted WWE about doing something with him about four years ago, but they weren't that interested in that time. However, they are now. That might have something to do with the Prince of Saudi Arabia, who, according to Dave Meltzer, wanted Fury and possibly Kane as well as UFC, for example, has refused to go to Saudi Arabia because it's such a controversial place. But by bringing these star athletes in with WWE, they can still get the big paydays there and appear there before the public without having to uh, perform in in an athletic sport. So that is part of the reason why they are performing on the Saudi Arabia event, but it's believed Tyson Fury is only going to basically be doing these appearances for WWE. Uh, it's not a long-term thing. He's supposed to be fighting again earlier, early next year in boxing, where he's the top heavyweight right now. In other wrestling news, NXT is probably going to start running arenas for their TV tapings next year as AEW is running arenas right now and it certainly gives the look and feel of the show a big boost and AEW is kicking NXT's butt in the ratings and actually outdrew Raw in attendance the past two weeks so WWE definitely has to keep an eye on that. But AEW viewership was down this week as well as NXT viewership. And SmackDown viewership for their Fox show was also down 25% for this past Friday's show. It scored a 0.95 rating in the 18 to 49 demographic, down from 135 last week and that was a big draft special this draft that everybody's supposed to care about when they throughout history when they've been doing these drafts they never stick to them they intermix the uh, different brands on pay-per-views as well as house shows so i don't see the big hoopla of this with the ratings falling i don't think they need a million title belts in their company and all these separate brands they should try and have one really great brand instead of multiple brands that a lot of people aren't interested in as interest in the company has been declining year after year for a long time now and what they're doing now is they're bringing in some of these stars like Cain Velasquez and Tyson Fury to get a quick pop in the ratings. But Dave Meltzer watched the press conference. I did not. He noted that Kane's speech at the press conference wasn't that good in English. He is getting a title shot here. It's only going to be his third professional wrestling match. Apparently there was no physicality at the press conference between Kane and Brock. And overall, there was less physicality at this wrestling press conference 
than there is at boxing and MMA press conference mostly these days with the UFC and major boxing shows. They're taking more of a page out of wrestling than wrestling is in itself. And finally, it's being reported that PCO, who's a former Great North Wrestling Canadian champion and three-time WWE Tag Team champion with the Quebecers, will be challenging for the Ring of Honor title at the December 13th Final Battle pay-per-view. He did tell me before his contract was going to expire in December. He had signed a one-year contract last year. I don't know if it's at the start or the end of December. I seem to recall it was at the start of December, but if uh, it is at the start, he's obviously re-signed with the company. If it is at the end of December, then I would be shocked if he's going to actually win the title. But good job on them for featuring PCO. He's a very hard worker, and I'm glad he's having this resurgence there's a lot of other wonderful great north wrestling wrestlers out there that companies like ring of honor should take a look at two gnw wrestlers recently had wwe tryouts and it's unknown if they have been offered contracts yet or not out of those tryouts i haven't had the chance to ask them but I certainly will ask them when I see them next weekend at Great North Wrestling Apocalypse in Rockland, Ontario, October the 19th.